Blue Cube to start trolls and in today's show I'll be showing you how to make a very simple website in Adobe Flash CS4. It doesn't really matter which uh, version you use but uh, I use CS4. Um, it's going to be a very simple web uh, website and there's not going to be any like Photoshop involved. Maybe like in the future I'll make one uh, with Photoshop, more advanced website. And so this is part one and uh, in this part um, I'll be showing you how to make it and in the second part I'll be showing you how to upload it. So let's get going with uh, with our website. Uh, let's open Adobe Flash. Okay, um, now open ActionScript 3.0. So first of all, uh, go to Properties. Oh no, first of all go to uh, this window and click on Designer. Choose Designer, then uh, go to uh, Size, Edit. Uh, dimensions. Usually the dimensions are the same as your screen um, or the uh, as much as you want um, how big you want to be um, so I'll just put uh, 1810 by 768 768 uh, yeah 24 okay um, yes show all okay uh, so now what you want to do is create a background so go to the rectangle tool and you can choose any like maybe black background whatever you can also uh, import file uh, import to stage if you already made a background in Photoshop but I'll just do it uh, this way so well, you can go to color and go to like linear and select the colors you like. I like black and gray, so I'm going to use that. Okay, drag it on both ends. Okay, um, now, <coughs> excuse me, and now create more layers. Uh, there's going to be the background. Background, um, layer two will be menu, which is going to be your buttons. Layer 3 is going to be um, pages, and layer 4 is going to be actions. Okay, so you got these now. Uh, now, uh, select your background, and you want to create some more things. Okay, just select that. Um, you want to make some uh, content here, so we like uh, where you want your buttons to be and your. Uh, name of the website or whatever you want to say so a good way to do this is either go like this onto the side oh let's change the color um, or you just gray or maybe we'll uh, go to linear and like that some of like that or you can go like up over top and you can put your buttons up here it's alright to do that, but I'm, I'm just gonna go like this. Um, I'm gonna place my buttons onto the side and um, then make another box over the top. That's where you're gonna say your text. And um, yeah, so now let's type in, let's name our website. Um, yes, there we go. Uh, now let's create buttons. So go to menu, select menu, and uh, go to control, I mean control, what the hell, and window, uh, components. Um, and then you got a button here, so just drag it out onto the screen. Okay, drag out as many buttons as you want. I'll just drag out three. Okay, now. Let's make the button bigger. Okay, there we go. Let's put it in the middle. Okay, now select one, hold shift, and select the other two. And go to where it says align. And if you don't see the screen align, you go to window and select align. So, once you got the align, just um, keep on clicking these. Let's center this. Now let's uh, match size. Okay. 
there we go just click oh, some of them and it's gonna center okay so now we wanna now we wanna call our buttons what they're gonna be called so go to window component inspector and um, change from label to uh, whatever you want like I'll put down home there uh, now select the second one and change this uh, go to window component inspector and change this to um, intros just uh, for example I'm doing this uh, now the third one go to window component inspector uh, downloads okay uh, so let's zoom in show all so you got um, buttons here and you got your uh, title so now we want to add content and content is going to be on the pages so you can type in time set, uh, excuse me type something in here uh, like let's say you want to add home page you want to introduce so you go hi this is my website something whatever you want to write down whatever um, why you're using this website for what purpose uh, okay you can change the text of this uh, I mean text uh, color of this text um, you can go make it white or whatever color you want so now you want to um, create pages and now you want to link the buttons to the pages so to do that select the pages keyframe go to the background oops uh, select the pages hold shift go to the background and then uh, right click copy frames uh, select the first one go down to the last one select that paste frames and as many pages as you will have on your website as many times you have to do this so I have three pages so I paste in three keyframes okay now let's see so now you got uh, you got this says on the first page hi this is my website go to the second page uh, change the text to uh, whatever intro intros I don't care uh, or you can like um, what was I gonna say I forgot what I was gonna say uh, never mind oh, okay now here uh, downloads so you can paste links in here and if you wanna put down some downloads but I'm just doing this for an example so I'm just gonna say downloads and you can also uh, import pictures so if I wanna import a picture to downloads maybe I want to show a picture of what people are gonna be downloading you just go uh, file uh, import to stage okay let's wait for a little bit okay um so we got blue background what is that uh, okay whatever a picture anything you want to import here so you put you place a picture and um, yes so you got all this now you gotta link them so uh, go to each uh, go to the page layer and on each keyframe on this layer you will have to name it so pages select first keyframe name it page one then go to the second keyframe name it page two and third keyframe page three okay now uh, go to menu and uh, name the buttons so select oops select our first button instance name uh, home no let's just say button one button one keep it simple no special characters because you'll need to you'll just see later uh, what you'll need to do and you need to you know keep it simple keep the text simple okay uh, now in intros oops okay 
and go to downloads. Downloads. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we got them named. Oops. Okay, select them. Check if they're all named. Okay, uh now second frame, let's see, let's check that. So it says instance name. So probably we'll have to delete these two. So delete these two keyframe keyframes. Go to remove frames and copy this frame. Okay, copy frames. Hold shift, select it. Oh, okay. Never mind, we'll have to do it individually. So paste these frames. So you got the buttons on each page. Okay. So now we're down to linking these pages. Now select actions. Select the keyframe. Go F9. Hit F9 on the key. Alright, I'm back guys. Um, so simply I made a mistake. I'm sorry I'm a little tired. I've been playing Call of Duty too much. Uh, okay, so what I did is I named this one button 1. I named the intros. I named them intros. And then downloads and I named them downloads. So you can't do that. You gotta add, uh, name your buttons uh, as they are. So you gotta say button one, uh, button one, button two, button three. So if you guys named the buttons the way they are, then uh, then you did you made a mistake and you have to name them each button in order from one to how many you have. So redo this on all the frames. You rename them. You name the buttons on all the frames. Uh, and then make sure to go to actions and name the same way as you named them in the uh, instance name you know they're right there so make sure it's the same all of this and make sure this is the same so now it works if I go control enter if I click home you know it's home if I click intros it goes to intros if I click downloads it goes to downloads okay alright so we're pretty much done our website, so in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to, I mean in the next part of this tutorial I'll be showing you how to um, upload it to the internet. And thank you for watching this video, see you next time.